What's the best way to schedule posts for social media? And is it something you should be doing? Because a lot of people believe if you use a scheduling app, it's gonna hurt your views and engagement. This will help you understand how you can post more consistently on social media without necessarily working more or spending more time on your cell phone. These post schedulers have been really helpful when I started to get more consistent with producing content every day. For the last 50 days, we've posted 50 videos in a row. And for the next 50 days, we're gonna post 50 videos in a row, 100 videos in 100 days. There are three post schedulers people traditionally use when automating their social media content. The first one is Metricool, second one is Buffer, and the third one is Hootsuite. And for each one of those, we're gonna go through what platforms are available that you can post with on those social media post schedulers, two, the user friendliness of that post scheduler, three, what you get with the free version and the paid version, all these are free in some manner. I personally use a completely free tool. Number four, who is that post scheduler best for? So based on your needs, you'll probably fall into one of these three categories. And five, I have a training video on each one of these that you can watch after this, which will teach you how to use that post scheduler. But before we go into all of those, well, first let's explain what a post scheduler is. So traditionally, when you put a post on social media, you have to go into that specific platform, let's say Instagram, for instance, and then upload your content, maybe an Instagram reel. And then when you post it, it posts immediately to all your different followers on Instagram. That's essentially how it works. A post scheduler allows you to do two things. One is you go to this third party site. Let's use Metrical for example. You can go through and select all the different social media platforms you want that video to show up on. So you can click Instagram Reels, Facebook, and maybe YouTube Shorts. And from this one centralized spot, then you can post all of them and you can still do the same thing and post them all immediately. Or what I like to do is select a future date and time you want that social media post to be released and without even touching anything, then it's posted on that platform. So it saves you time in two different elements. One is you can post in one centralized spot and it goes out everywhere. And two, you don't have to log in every single time you want something to be posted, you can just set up a schedule to send out your content. Okay, so with that being said, let's talk about the first of three social media post schedulers, the first one being Metrical. Okay, so let's move over to the computer. Okay, so on Metrical, you can post on a bunch of different social media platforms. The big three that you're going to be looking for in all of these different post schedulers are Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. Those are the most popular social media platforms. We have the big three. We have Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. We also have X, formerly known as Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest, YouTube, and Twitch. And so the two unique things about Metrical is one, you can post on Twitch. None of the other two that we're gonna be talking about allows you to post on Twitch. The other one is when you post on Facebook, it's gonna ask you if you wanna share a social media post, a story, or a video. So with Metrical, you can put on Facebook stories, which is really cool. And that's the same thing for Instagram. For Instagram, you can do an Instagram post, you can do a reel or you can do a story all with the Metrical, all in their free version. So that's very helpful. The other thing is user friendliness. So I've actually tried using all three of these tools. Two of them are the most user friendly. One of those tools is Metrical. It's really easy to learn. You don't exactly have to be a tech guru or know any type of coding. It's super simple to use. And personally, I found it really easy to learn. But not only that, is there's communities within Metrical and a lot of tutorials where other people have posted unique things that they've done and things that you can learn from. Okay, so that's what platforms are available and how user-friendly it is. But the third one is what's available in the free version and what's available in the paid version. So they have three different pricing plans for Magical. The first one is $0. This is kind of funny. It says per month, per life. So it's not really a trial. It's the plan that you sign up for. With that, you can do a couple things. The big one is you can post up to 50 pieces of content per month. And what that means is let's say you post one video and you have that post as an Instagram reel, you have a post to TikTok and you have, have it post to YouTube. That is one post. It doesn't count as three posts. That is all consolidated into one. So technically you can post one thing every day with Metrical's free version. The other thing that's super helpful is it has its own analytics dashboard. With the free version, you're only allowed to go back three months of historical data. So there you can see which of your posts are performing best, get recommendations for hashtags, and different things you can do to optimize your social media. The paid versions for Metrical are at a starter package for $18 a month or the advanced package for $45 a month. The additional features you unlock here is in the starter version. If you're looking to have everything the free version has, 
but have no restrictions on how often you can post, then you want to do the starter package where you get unlimited posts and you get free connection to LinkedIn. So that's something to note. The free one doesn't allow you to post on LinkedIn. The advanced one for $45, this is if you're like a marketing agency, right? So you don't have just one person logging into your social media, but you have 5, 10, 15 people all logging in to manage your social media. That's where they do the advanced package for $45 a month. And note that these prices are based in annual. So if you purchase all 12 months at one time, it's $18 a month for the starter package but if you choose to pay monthly month to month is $22 a month personally I think the free version is plenty good enough as long as you're not posting more than 50 pieces of content a month and most importantly let's talk about who Metrical is best for so since it's really user friendly and it's free and you can post up to 50 pieces of content per month I think it's probably best for two categories of people one is content creators right because content creators often normally have a very small budget and you're learning as you go so why not learn with a free tool and the other one is small businesses small businesses tend not to post more than a post a day a couple posts a week so i think that element of it is very helpful for metrical but both of those should probably only be managed by one person so you have one person who manages all of your content for your small business probably metrical is the best one for you or if you're a content creator like a youtube creator I'll go ahead and use Metrical. If this tool sounds like it's the right tool for you, I have a video right up here in that top right corner that is a Metrical how-to tutorial. It goes through deep diving step-by-step -step how to make your first post, different things you can do to optimize your posts once they're done. And my favorite feature is how to optimize hashtags and SEO. So if you're interested in that one, check out that video right there. You'll be happy you did. The link is also in the description. Okay, so the second social media post planner that we're gonna talk about is Buffer. Now, Buffer has a lot of things that make it unique that we're gonna talk about right here. So first off, one of the things that make it unique is all the places that you can schedule your posts. Buffer has more reach than any of the three platforms we're gonna talk about today. First off, they have Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok. So they have the big ones that you'd be looking for. They also have X, formerly known as Twitter. You can post on LinkedIn in their free version, which is awesome. They have Pinterest and then the three that none of the other ones have. They have Mastodon, Threads, and Blue Sky. Mastodon and Threads are pretty popular and I think you're missing out if you're not posting there. So Buffer is helpful for these uh, reasons. Hootsuite and Metrical don't have Threads, Mastodon, or Blue Sky. So that's a big one there. The con of Buffer is it's not exactly user-friendly and it doesn't have the same community behind it that Metrical has. So when you're looking up how to get started you have to sit, be, I would say, a little bit tech savvy or user savvy. It's the same features that Metrical and Hootsuite has, except it takes a little bit longer to learn the system. That being said, you can easily go in and schedule posts for future days and time. And overall, it is a very, very good tool. Okay, so Buffer has a free version and then it has three different paid versions. In their free version, you can schedule up to 30 posts per month but their big caveat is although they have all these different social media accounts that you can connect to, in their free version, you only can connect to three of them. So that's a little disappointing. If you want, you could have a metrical and buffer and then use buffer for threads, Mastodon, and Blue Sky. So that's one alternative, but their free version, three channels and up to 30 posts per month. If you want to go ahead and upgrade to any of their paid versions, the, probably the best one is the essentials. And the way it works is it's $5 per month per channel. So let's imagine you wanted to do the three big social media platforms. That would be $15 a month. But the benefit here is you get unlimited posts at $15 a month in their centrals version. And then lastly, if you're a marketing company and you're going to have multiple people managing multiple social media platforms, the best one for you is the agency. You can have up to 10 channels and you can have multiple different parties manage that account. So that's kind of how Buffer's broken down. Okay, so who's Buffer best for? I would also say that it's good for content creators, but content creators who have two attributes. One, they're a little user savvy. It's a little difficult to learn at the beginning. But two, more importantly, they're trying to share their content with every different social media platform available. They have more platforms than anywhere else. They have Mastodon and Threads, which are two big ones, but tech savvy content creators looking to not let anyone escape from their content, essentially. And right up here is a full tutorial on how to use Buffer and why some people believe it is the best social media post scheduler online. 
click that button right up there and it's also in the description below. If you're still along, don't forget to like and subscribe and let's talk about the next one. The third one is Hootsuite. Now Hootsuite is probably the most popular out of the three that we're gonna talk about today. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about what platforms are available on Hootsuite. So Hootsuite has Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. Great, we got the big ones, that's fantastic. They also have X, formerly known as Twitter, LinkedIn, and Pinterest. So everything Metrical has and Buffer has, but Metrical has Twitch, Buffer has Mastodon's Threads, and Blue Sky, and Hootsuite doesn't have anything different than the other ones. Where Hootsuite gains its credibility, it's the most user-friendly of the three tools that we're gonna talk about today. A, it has the most tutorials online that teach you how to use the tool. Two, it's the most popular out of any of the platforms that we're gonna be talking about. So there's a really big Hootsuite community that teaches you different ways to use the tool. After that, they have three different social media packages. One is one user, 10 accounts, unlimited posts, 100 bucks a month. The second one is a team for $249 a month. This one allows you to have three users and up to 20 social media accounts. And the last one is an enterprise custom. So if you're a large marketing company and you're gonna have more than five users, more than 50 different social media accounts, this is where you kind of call Hootsuite and they'll make a custom deal just for you. Okay, so who's Hootsuite best for? So Hootsuite's gonna be best for marketing agencies or large enterprises that have a little bit more budget. 100 bucks a month is very expensive. You have to know what you're doing. But the benefit is Hootsuite has great tech support. They have great features. It's the most user-friendly. It's the quickest to upload and post, but you're paying to have that functionality. And right here in the upper right corner is a full step-by-step -step tutorial for Hootsuite. It goes through how to use all of its advanced features. It's super helpful. It's also in that description below. Okay, so let's have a recap. So we had Metrical, Buffer, and Hootsuite. So Metrical is gonna be your free version, easy to use, best for content creators and small businesses, and their free version is plenty good enough. Personally, I've been using Metrical's free version for two years. It's the only one out of the three that I've actually really stuck with, uh, but that's because I'm a content creator and it works best for me. The second one is Buffer. Now the advantage to Buffer is you have the largest reach of all different social media platforms that you can schedule on. It's best for content creators who are a little tech savvy and the content creators who are trying to maximize their reach and talk to every different person available on all platforms. Those people should be using Buffer. The third one is Hootsuite. Hootsuite is the most user-friendly and probably the best tool out of the three, but it's also $100 a month in the most expensive version. I would say Hootsuite's probably best for your mid-sized business to your large enterprise, or most importantly, marketing agencies because it's so quick and can really optimize your workflow. I hope you found this video helpful. If you're still here, go ahead and hit that like button. I hope you enjoyed the video. And don't forget to subscribe as we post 100 videos in 100 days and share what we've learned throughout the process. And most importantly, check out these three videos that teach you how to use Metrical, Buffer, and Hootsuite. I'll see you soon and see you in the next video.